What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend Galactus here with a platinum review for Spider-Man 2. Before we go any further, please consider this your spoiler warning as I will be talking about Endgame and this is the post-game content you are seeing on screen. And since we need to talk about the platinum, there can be some story spoilers or some things involved which you might not want to know about. I will not be spoiling any of the major moments or anything for you but yeah, there is stuff that I may not be able to avoid so just putting it out there. With that said, let's get into our review. And oh boy are we gonna have fun talking about this game like I personally really love Spider-Man 2 if it is not already obvious with how many times I've talked about this, how excited I was during the stream, uh, the platinum stream that we did for this game. So yeah this is a game which is really near and dear to my heart but first and foremost as listed in the title let's start with the game's performance 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 is something that i skipped on the final fantasy 16 review but uh, just uh, wanted to put out there that there were no many issues or hiccups i found in that game so i did not felt it worth mentioning but i know there are people out there like you might be here to know how this game performs or you're looking for the performance review of the particular game so for spider-man 2 the performance is off the charts like really this game i would say actually suffers from being so good like performing so well the frame rate is always smooth the gameplay mechanics you are swinging at breakneck uh, speed sometimes you're flying through the city and everything and it just it's everything is so fast the load times are super fast and that i think in hindsight is maybe a detriment for the game because the game is so good the story is so good but because of the performance there are no loading screens there are nothing there is nothing to stop you from having fun in this game and you can just breeze through it like by the time i ended spider-man 2 i felt like i wanted to do more i wanted to do a lot more in this world in this beautiful world that insomnia games has created but there was nothing left to do i was done with everything in like 20 25 hours maybe 30 hours because i tried to stretch it i tried to maximize the time i was having with this game but that was it and when it was over i was really sad not to say it's sad because okay the game is lacking in any content or anything i mean i wish there were moments they could have done more with the story or something of course that's always there but yeah I just felt sad because the game was over. This beautiful, amazing experience was over and that was a bit off-putting, obviously. Speaking of the presentation, same thing. Game looks great, it runs, it runs great. I mean, every single frame of the game is beautiful. The Spider-Man web abilities, the combat sequences, everything. You can see every detail of the game and everything is rendered beautifully. The story is actually really good. Like, this is actually one of the best Venom stories I believe Marvel has ever pulled off except maybe the Spider-Man animated series that had a really good Venom run and like apart from the comics on media this is I think the best Venom uh, story ever that we have had to experience with the way and the way they handled the anti-Venom suit and everything which you're seeing here uh, spoilers again if you did not want to know that but yeah my, that is one thing like they the story is actually very good i don't want to talk much about it but i'll just say that the way insomniac has built this universe like they make some changes they use certain characters and certain elements of the story of the spider-man lore actually in a different way not what you're used to they use them differently and it's awesome and the most fun character in this game actually i believe is craven like he is actually menacing and he actually like you feel because craven is very low on the spider-man villain uh, scale actually you don't feel him to be much of a threat but he, they did actually genuinely make him a good decent threat and uh, it does uh, mean a lot uh, i mean it does make an impact for the story like we know venom is the main show venom is the grand spectacle that we are going to and oh boy do they deliver on that spectacle but Craven, for whatever time he does have in the game, like whatever scenes that he is in, he is a very commanding uh, personality. He has a very good performance and I just wanted to give a shout out to that. Not that any of the other performances are bad or anything, but Craven really stood out for me personally. One more thing I want to touch on just uh, for a little bit is, as I said, the game is so fast, everything is so fast. Spider-Man, of course, is a fast superhero, he's built on speed and you know finesse and uh, his agility so of course you're moving fast through everything 
they added a new map a, like new areas new regions into the world map but still i think you can get through i think you can just zigzag and roam around not just get from one point to the other diagonally like you can have a whole, run a whole lap through the entire map in like 10 11 minutes that is how fast it is that like even though the map is really big it is uh, impressive how big it is but the speed with which you're traveling it just means nothing and that is where i think the content was lacking a bit one other thing which i think they missed out on is the suit abilities like in the first uh, spider-man game if you guys might remember every suit had a different ability here not every suit has a different ability they have made the abilities which different suits have they mean much more they have better impact but they not every suit has a different ability so yeah those gameplay mechanics that was a little sour point for me uh, like a little sour sour pill to swallow for me but yeah uh, not a big complaint but yeah that does stand out also i believe this game could have benefited really well from having slow moments like you know in final fantasy 16 review i talked about how this game slows down the gameplay a bit a lot but i think this game might have actually benefited from that like because there are certain story moments like when pete is in the venom suit he's all angry he's all rage i they could have maybe made that i realized that they you run the risk of overstaying your welcome over there and yeah but for me personally i think they could have made that like i'm not saying put in more mj stealth missions or put us in the shoes of peter and make him walk or miles of uh, uh, bring the miles morales of peter parker out of their costumes and make them do stuff but just story moments i think even as Spider-Man, they could have slowed us down at certain points. So like, just let me just walk as Spider-Man through everything that is going on on the screen right now. I don't want to rush through. I don't want to fight. I just want to walk through this particular moment. That is what I felt. And that is what I wanted to do. So just little, this is a very minor, very nitpicky, maybe totally personal complaint, but it is a complaint. That's all I'm saying. Lastly, while we are on the topic of story, there is one more thing I felt like this game is not as funny as the last game. Like I know because of course Peter is in the Venom suit so he's angry he's not going to be cracking jokes in his black suit. But yeah, I mean again maybe totally personal but yeah I did feel the last game Spider-Man 2018 was so funny I was laughing into bits like there were points where I could not just stop cracking up and you know just putting my arms in the air and laughing and even the DLC, the DLC of Spider-Man 2018 if you guys have not played it I would really uh, uh, what do you say? I really suggest that you go and try it out because this is it is actually very beautiful. Like the last DLC, last part of the three part DLC, the one with the silver saber is the funniest thing ever. Really, you guys will thank me for that if you have not tried that out. And with that said, as you can see here, this is the stadium mission, stadium trophy that we are doing. We are, I am helping you guys out with the platinum as I am speaking here. You see, I am telling you what stuff you have to do and. Uh, what uh, different uh, trophies uh, that you can get. These are the cleanup trophies, the major trophies I have done on my stream and you can also do on your own. We'll get two trophies in a bit. But yeah, everything I want to say about the story is done. So now let's go over and let's move on to the gameplay. Gameplay, if it is not totally obvious from what you're seeing on screen, is amazing. Swinging is amazing. Insomnia did already nail it down in Spider-Man 2018 and here they have just improved into it. It was already perfect so they did, did not need to do much with it. Uh, but they have added some cool abilities, some uh, fun things that you can do while swinging around New York. And uh, the swinging is beautifully complemented with the wing suits. Like with the wing suits, just uh, through swinging you can get into a... Uh, as you say, uh, you can just open your winds, uh, wing suits and get into a glide and just zoom around the map like anything like you can actually it does feel like flying at certain points this is as close as you can come to flying in a big budget uh, fully realized game i believe and like this even scratched my itch of being superman in a video game so that was something really good i mean who wants to a superman game now not that i should say no to it but yeah this game did it and apart from that combat is also amazing uh, as i said no suit abilities not every suit has an ability they did add a lot of suits but not every suit has a uh, has an ability but the suits that do the suits which do change your abilities they are actually meaningful they are actually impactful they do change up the gameplay so with every different type of suit you unlock you get different type of ability and it like changes your approach to the combat 
and uh, changes your approach to the combat and makes it more fun makes it more diverse in combat they have added a parry system you can parry some moves now stun the enemies and there are some unblockable moves as they were previously as well dodging is of course very important but the windows are very lenient you can dodge away once you get a perfect dodge you can zip up enemies you can web up enemies you can even grab them and throw them finishers they've added some really cool finishers a lot of finishers in this game compared to the previous one which is actually a very good thing so yeah gameplay feels very good feels really nice some abilities you unlock i think one of the things i should mention is that the uh, do peter gets the uh, spider man suit and he unlocks symbiote ability uh, symbiote ab- abilities and all that that is very fun but miles get a, miles gets a, some really cool abilities in this game like miles also unlocks some really fun stuff some of the abilities and things he unlocks make him feel more op than uh, the symbiote spider man at some point i mean they have really done justice to both the spider man this is truly a spider man 2 through and through where both spider mans have been given even equal screen time equal story time they both have uh, cool and un- keep unlocking cool new stuff and new abilities throughout the game so yeah it does like uh, in the advertising on the trailers that you have seen i know they had been focusing more on the venom stuff on the symbiote stuff so you thought and of course peter is always my spider man like my spider man will always be peter having grown up with reading about him watching him on television and everything not that miles is bad miles is always spider man number 2 for me but he's been given a good opportunity to shine here in this game which i think is really good they did a really good job with that so kudos to them last thing left in our uh, game review list is i believe the side content the side content is good it does not have much story implications but yeah what is there is good it is fun but yes compared to the story it is definitely not on the level with the story is there are certain side missions which are really fun to execute certain activities in the game are actually more fun than most of the side missions that you go to and side missions are the things which actually do slow down the gameplay which i was saying that maybe they slow down the gameplay more which do slow down the gameplay there are certain puzzles and certain things you have to do you have to play as different characters and solve stuff and do stuff I did not enjoy them I was not too hot on them but as I said your mileage may vary you might be into it of course the other people might not MJ or Peter out of costume or Miles out of costume I'm talking about there is some other stuff going on over there and that I did not enjoy at all I did not want it and when I had to do it again I really did not want it but for the platinum you have to do all I'm saying is that side content not bad not great the game is still great uh, like it suffers from some of the um, uses uh, uh, what would you say the subpar quality of the side content but it still manages to hold its own and you know push through that i wish they could have done more like with the world and the setup and that they have and the things that they could have done like the characters that are already there that are established in the world from the previous game and the ones that are established in this game they could have done so much more mm, i understand that Insomniac already being the MVP of PlayStation Studios, like they have already made so many games for this generation since they have been hired, uh, since they have been incorporated by PlayStation. So yeah, they are doing too much. I don't want to put this on the developer or anything. I just feel like this could have really pushed Insomniac to the like right top of the Sony studio higher hierarchy if they had just. focused a little bit more on side content like it breaks my heart a little bit is why i am saying it so much otherwise it's not that side content is something that i want to complain about or that something you should avoid or you should stay away from you still go have fun with the side content you're going to enjoy it some of the activities like what you're seeing right now on screen these are really fun activities you are going to have a lot of fun with this so yeah but of course it's just not on the level that the gameplay already is and that i believe is everything we have to say about the game now let's get to talking about the platinum so trophy list of the game basically is very straight forward there are some side activities you have to do there are uh, the main story missions that you have to complete and certain side activities you have to do and then there are some miscellaneous things that you have to do most of the miscellaneous things i think you have seen in this video already like certain you don't see the trophy pops because i'm not using a capture card this is all recorded gameplay on my playstation 5 but i believe since you we have started this video you guys have already uh, if you follow this through you guys have already unlocked i believe three or four trophies and you are about to maybe wrap up and complete the final one one thing i would like to say is that the trophy for completing every district 
can glitch on the trophy counter where is uh, like if you are tracking yourself on the trophy card or through the game card it does not sh show your progress like my progress was stuck at 20% but i was already playing the game i was already at it i was afraid at one point that oh my god i might have to just you know uh, restart the whole game and do the whole game again not that i minded it but yeah it felt like an annoyance at that time and also this was at launch so could have been a, could be a bug that might already have been fixed the game has had up, upgrade uh, updates since then but yeah the counter does not display your progress as it should but once you get every district done every borough done then you do get the trophy so don't worry about that there are certain collectibles but they are easy to watch for, easy to find some of the collectibles the spider drone collectibles are not like you can find the location for them you find the general area for them and then you look for when you look for them just be careful that they are not always on a place they can sometimes be simply flying in the air so you might be swinging low or swinging high above them so just keep an eye out it's nothing that you will struggle with actually there is there are no trophies that you will struggle with certain combat trophies are there but again they are easy activities and everything so trophy wise very very easy platinum like the platinum difficulty for this game i would put it two or three and if you beat the story i believe you only need to do like four to five hours of more uh, like you need to play like four to five hours more of the game to unlock the platinum that i think is a stretch even that i think is a stretch because if you're doing the story with the side content at the same time like you're doing the side missions as they get unlocked and you're doing the story missions uh, i think you're golden like you will technically be left with the couple of trophies that i have left here and i did in a final 20 25 minutes of stream so that's it that is all you'll be left with guys so i believe this is actually a really fun game this is actually a really fun platinum uh, the only thing i will tell you is that if you have not yet played this game go ahead play it have fun with it and if you have already played it why have you not platinum it and if you have platinum it then thank you so much for doing so support the developers guys there are very few developers left good developers left out there who are actually making game that means something to us so just go and showcase your love to them is what i would say for insomnia especially like not that i am going to gain anything out of it but you guys should support these devs so with that said as i said one more cool thing while i am watching my own gameplay i see there that when you take out these enemies these are normal uh, new yorkers who have been put uh, into the symbiote situation uh, yeah that there, there are story reasons for that but when you, you see whenever peter takes them out the real guy the guy who is actually under the symbiote flies out of it and you can even see that so Huh? All right, that's it. As I said, once I start talking about Spider-Man 2, I'll keep talking about Spider-Man 2. But I believe this is a good point to stop and give you my scores. Wait, 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 wait. Almost forgot. Uh, the swinging trophy where you have to do like 20 or 30 uh, stunts in a swing. Uh, the description is a bit off-putting. You don't have to do all this uh, stunts in one single uh, swing. You have to do different swings. So it's, uh, I don't remember the exact number, but if it's 15 or 20 or 25, you have to do 25 different swings. So press R to do a stunt with the L1 or the R, uh, uh, R, uh, right stick or the left stick. Then press R2 again, then end swing, then press R2 again, then end swing. I mean, maybe you already know that, maybe you already figured that out. But I cracked on for like 5 hours trying to pull all those stunts in one swing. And I even when I was doing it, I was not getting the trophy and I was losing my mind out there for a minute. So don't be like that. Don't be silly. So my score for this game is 9 out of 10, as I said, beautiful, beautiful, amazing, almost masterpiece level game, just held a little back by the side content. Like all the compl other complaints I've said, don't actually deter its score, I would say, like they don't actually put any, they are not a detriment to the score, but the side content, certain side missions actually are a detriment to the score. I really wanted to give this game a 10, like honestly, I have paid for this game, I have not gotten a review code or anything, I've put my heart and money into it and this i love this game so much like i would say that this is a 9 out of 10 that i love like a 12 out of 10 honestly but yeah as far as opinions go being a genuine review scorer i cannot give it higher than that because there are other games that are deserving better games out there unfortunately 
बट स्टिल दैट शुड नॉट बी एन एक्सक्यूज और एनी थिंग फॉर यू गैस टू नॉट प्ले दिस गेम एंड द प्लेटिनम स्कोर इज अ टेन आउट ऑफ टेन लाइक ऑनेस्टली सीरियसली इफ यू प्ले दिस गेम देर इज यू हैव जीरो एक्सक्यूज इज नॉट टू हैव द प्लेटिनम ऑन दिस गैस यू शुड डेफिनेटली डू दैट एंड मे बी इफ यू आर इफ यू आर नॉट अ ट्रॉफी हंटर इफ यू थिंकिंग अबाउट गेटिंग इन टू ट्रॉफी हंटिंग इफ यू आर लाइक इवन इफ यू आर लाइक ओके आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी ट्रॉफीज आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी प्लेटिनम प्लेटिनम आर स्टिल कूल टू हैव राइट Why not just put in three, four more hours into the game and get the platinum, and you will have at least one platinum to show on your list, just for bragging rights. Right? I am not telling, asking you to be a trophy hunter. Do it for the bragging rights, right? Okay, that's it. There you have it, folks. My review for Spider-Man 2. I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I had real fun talking about this game. I had really fun talking to you and telling you uh, my opinions about this game. I have been. thinking about this wanting to talk about this say something about this for a really really long time now and i'm so glad i just got to do it with you so i hope you like this video anything you don't agree with me on please get into the comments i'll be talking there share your feedback whatever you like even if you like something please say something nice i would love that and please if you haven't already like share and subscribe it will go a really really long way in supporting me and helping me make more of this stuff so please do that tell your friends and share your opinions guys get into the comments and let's talk about it and apart from that wherever you are whatever you're doing please stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games this is your friend galactus and it has been a hell of a time talking to you